7th of March now. Um, I come back down here on Wednesday. I base it up all round this point of the island and I've got three rods tight. One on the point, one about two foot in and one just before the uh, the bushes come out. Really tight as well. The kind of cast that you wonder how it didn't go in the tree. Um, 36 turns on the reel, clipped up. Um, I've then skimmed out probably two handfuls of boiler um, and you can actually get them to if you skim them across the water they'll uh, bounce across the surface and then sometimes even bounce off the island so you can get them really tight that way and you're not losing boiler all over the island um, I've then spommed out um, probably about ten spoms of um, some hemp um, corn, boily crumb and uh, a tin of uh, flake mackerel so everything's set everything's looking good the weather's picking up and um, it was raining this morning for those of you that uh, listen to my ramble on Twitter I was sat at home eating bacon sandwiches waiting for the rain to pass whilst Rob was setting up um, over the other side and when I got here he was drowned so and he's not a fish yet either In. just a little common but off the mark 
um, that was on the combi rig, absolutely nailed. Um, yeah, so I'll put him back, get the rod back out, and uh, hopefully there'll be more. How about that then, a take on camera? Um, I was just in the process of marking out a fresh spot, a um, bit of a backup plan for later, more than anything else. I've put a, three or four spawns out on the spot, little clear patch amongst this fresh weed. Um, while drawing the marker back, it almost shutters like it's going over gravel, but it's not. It's actually it's, it's pulling through these stems. They're quite, getting quite hard now. So I found uh, a clear two foot spot amongst it so I've dropped a couple of spawns on that and I'll uh, drop a rod on that probably the last couple of hours before I go so if there's fish in the area there's a bit of free grub from no pressure and then uh, I'll attack that last thing but obviously while doing that you've seen uh, the left hand rod bend round so take on camera happy with that well it's four o'clock and um, just coming into bite time as far as uh, Mr Moon Says so, um, a slick's just come up from that area that I uh, had the marker and spotted to a while ago. So I've just uh, wound my left hand rod in, um, overcast it, wound back and dropped it on on the spot. So if it was a disturbance by a fish, I'm fishing for it. Like I say, it's just coming back into bite time now. Um, Rob had three. We're both hitting the stockies, um, nothing above fifteen pound. But uh, yeah, we we four fish within an hour of each other, and then nothing. Um, and that was the morning peak. So this lake, I think ninety percent of my fish have been on the uh, the bite times. I think different lakes fish feed differently, but this is an unfished, underfished lake. So I suppose um, in a lot of ways the, fi the fish are quite naturally feeding, as opposed to uh, angling pressure. Fourteen and a half pounds, so slightly better stamp than the other one, but tore off. And there she blows. Yeah, absolutely charged off. Um, did exactly what I didn't want a fish to do whilst Rob was there, and that's take me round. Set me round the point of the island, um, so I just ran down this bank to the corner and steered him back round. Show the other side. Pretty much immaculate. Actually, he is immaculate. <laughs> There's the other side. 14 and a half pound gold bar. That's 
pretty much made the session. Hopefully it's made the blog. <laughs> so we'll get him back. The rod's already out. And maybe we'll have another one. Well, it's now quarter past five. Um, probably got about another half hour, 45 minutes. I don't need to mention it. Proof's in the pudding. I think uh, five minutes after I said it was bite time, that rod tore off. Um, bang on when the moon peak says that uh, the feed are fishing. I noticed quite a bit of slicking coming up around the uh, point of the island as well. Um, I've reset all three rods back to where they started because I have started uh, roaming them about a little bit. So all three rods are toward the point of the island, one off it, one on the point, one just in the bay. Um, it's the combi rig that's picked up both bites. Now I know that there's three or four foot of water where, I'm, where my rigs are landing. Um, so I'm just wondering if the stiff hinge rig in that depth is uh, a bit too, a bit too blatant. But, um, I do, I do prefer to fish a stiff hinge to a comba, um, especially now this weed's coming up. You've got a better chance of being uh, presented, and also the do tend to pick up the bigger fish. So. Hopefully, fingers crossed, for number three, break that £20 barrier. Yep, so 45 minutes, nothing else happens, I'm out of here. So, thanks for watching.